Hello friends, in this video we will be synthesizing phenyl benzoate via the Scott and Bowman benzoylation reaction. For this experiment you will need 2.5 grams of phenol crystals, 5 grams of sodium hydroxide pellets in order to make 50 ml of a 10 percent solution and 5 ml of benzoyl chloride. Start by taking 5 grams of sodium hydroxide pellets in a 250 ml beaker. 50 ml water was added to the beaker to obtain a 10% sodium hydroxide solution. Addition of water to solid sodium hydroxide is exothermic. Hot sodium hydroxide solution can produce severe burns. Once it is dissolved, the beaker is set aside. Next, a 100 ml Erlenmeyer flask was taken and 2.5 grams of phenol crystals was taken in it. 35 ml of 10% sodium hydroxide solution was measured in a graduated cylinder and was added to the phenol. Mix well so that the phenol dissolves in sodium hydroxide. Now 5 ml of benzoyl chloride was added to the 100 ml Erlenmeyer flask containing the reaction mixture. The glass stopper was tightly capped and the flask was shaken vigorously for about 20 minutes. This causes the phenyl benzoate to form. After 20 minutes, the product formed was vacuum filtered. This is the crude product after letting it dry by using the vacuum pump. Next, the compound was recrystallized from hot 96% ethanol solution. On cooling down, needle shaped crystals of phenyl benzoate was formed. The final yield was 5.1 gram. Now moving on to the calculation of the yield. Phenol is the limiting reactant in this synthesis. So 1 mole of phenol should theoretically give 1 mole of phenyl benzoate. That is 94.11 gram of phenol should give 198.22 gram of phenyl benzoate. Here we have taken 2.5 grams of phenol and that should theoretically yield 5.26 grams. So the theoretical yield is 5.26 grams and the practical yield was 5.1 gram and the percentage yield is 96 percentage. That's all in this video. These are all the Patreon supporters who are financially helping me. You can also support me via Patreon or PayPal. The links of both of them are in the description. Once again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell button so that you will get notified about my next video. Thank you.